How's everybody doing today? I wanted to make another video on the last pickup I got for 2016. And of course as well, I'm going to make another video in and off the year with all the pickups I picked up for 2016 in terms of Jordans. And I know a lot of people has gotten like every, literally every suit release this year. I try to tell people there is no need to be spending all your money on Jordans because the Jordans you want are literally gonna come to you. Like me, I'm patient to wait for these type of things to the release. I know next year they're coming out with some heat that I actually, some actual new releases. Yes, I said in new releases. I only cop like two or three a year that I feel as though that are actually good releases. I know they just released the original um, ones had never been released yet. The Storm colorway. I thought the release was trash. I did I did not like the quality on that shoe. So I just simply just passed passed on it. Ah, man. Until Jordan start bringing more quality. I admit the leather looks cool. But the quality is not all that. And I just recently seen a Jordan. The Rare Air ones. If anybody heard about them, the Rare Air ones are the ones that actually says Air Jordan instead of the regular um, wing logo on the actual one. And it has a Nike Air on the back. The quality that i seen, I guess i seen like an orange pair that looked just like the shattered backboards. Um, and I know they release actually the 7th um, of next year, but... I went to a store that actually had them early. I seen the shoe. The quality on that shoe is magnificent. I like the quality. But the shoe, I is just I, how I see a one. Why can't you put that same quality on a regular Air Jordan 1? That's the thing with me. But I'm not going to go rambling into the video. I'm going to get into the review pickup today. And this is a woman's shoe. This is the Air Jordan 5 Retro Woman's. Um, I already have two out of the four women's fives, so it can only be one of the two. And if you saw the box, yep, I have the Sunset fives now. Um, I got these shoes retail. I paid retail price for this shoe, one ninety nine shipped for the shoe. I didn't even have to pay for shipping, so I paid retail. Um, the only thing about these that I'm kind of on the fence about is the shoe is a older Jordan so the shoe may may start to separate. I wore these already, I already wore these once and I started to new notice the shoe right there. Started to separate a little bit after I wore them. But it's okay. I like vintage stuff like that. It gives it character. As long as the shoe does not crumble on the mid so I'm fine with that. And it came with the retro card of course. Sunsets. These are the Sunset Fives. Um, a brief description on this shoe. This is a woman's Air Jordan 5. They came out in originally 2006. They came out with three other women's Fives. These being one of them, I actually have the other ones too, which are the Shy Pink Fives. They also released in 2006 in the Low Top Women's, which is the um, Universally Blue Fives that never been retro too. I have that, and then the white metallics, which actually retro last year, um, which I'm trying to get those for a good price that's not, like, pissy yellow or that basically looks like this and not crumbling on the midsole. That's the only thing. I'm trying to get a pair that's not crumbling on the midsole. These are all right for their age. It's just one shoe, particularly... I wore these once and then started to separate a little bit right there. But that's the thing when you get Jordans these old. That's the thing. Like, uh, you got to be cautious for when you wear an older release. But this is the last release of the year. Well, not last really. Last pickup for me for the year. Old back in the day release, Shopping. I said Shopping. The Sunset Women's Fives. I got these for an unbelievable price, dead stock, and I wore these once already, so they're not dead stock anymore. But I'm happy I got them. 
Because most people, you're not going to be seeing walking around with these on. Like, it's just, a shoe like this, you're not going to see people just walking around with these shoes on. Um, I only seen one person at my job that actually had these. And that's kind of encouraged me to get a pair too. Now that I got them, I'm grateful I got them. But I can see just in case I might have to get another pair in a bigger size. Just in case. These crumble. I actually have another pair on watch right now for retail. So, I'll be alright just in case. But it's just, make sure you spend your money wisely and, and kind of inspect the shoe. Because I didn't notice the that right there, the flaw on that shoe until I got it. But, I ain't going to make this video too long. I just wanted to do the last pickup of the year. And I'm going to do another video right after this. I'm actually showcasing all the shoes that I picked up in 2016. Everybody have a have a great rest of the rest of the year while I'm still here, and see y'all next year. Thank you.